start with imps. Ogre good. Tiger versus oil. Mm. I don't mind having a lot of uh, a lot of tigers in my deck, and I want an oil, but I don't want two oil. So I'll take the tiger, and maybe I get another oil in the future. And if I don't, then whatever, this was a close call anyways. And that's the logic. It's gonna be auto barber, but boy would I like all of these. Assassinate... Abusive or Lord? Probably Lord. Mm -hmm. Crocolisk or Sap? Doesn't seem like an astoundingly fast deck at the moment. I'll go with the Crocolisk. It's also one of those where I don't want more than one Sap. I think the Sap wins up against the worst card. Though there are not too many cards worse than Crocolisk, but they exist. SI7 Bum Lobber. Oh, so many cards I want. All of them. Take the SI. Matter. Ninja. I like the Ogre Ninja. It's really fat. Fatness is good. Backstabba. Creep. Sprint or Deadly. Uh, currently, I'm above average on late game cards. Take the Deadly. Blood Sail. Looks good here. This super strong Strider. Wow, my first four drop. Hey, there's that oil again. So I first took the tiger over the oil. Now I have the chance to pick Scarlet Crusader over oil. I'd pick Crusader over Tiger. I only have two three drops. One of the three drops I don't really want to play on three. Uh, take Crusader. This one's better if I have a Assassin's Blade also. I do hope to pick one of these up. But I wouldn't be sad without one. Oh man, these are some good epics. It's uh, gonna be Sea of Giants then. So many antique kill by possibilities. Only take one. Okay, Hobgoblin's a joke, so it's Kidnapper. Can only prepare into assassination. Yep. Maximus. Oh, there's the blade. Ah, uh, new bar ambush or, or another assassin's blade. I do need four drops, and I do already have a blade. Another poison. Another poison or smith. I have a lot of fives. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a lot of late game. Eh, more poison, I guess. This card is very good. Another Ambusher. <laughs> More Poison. Backstabba. Viscerate. And this deck has one mech in it. Two mechs. Who's? So good news, bad news time. The good news is I got some of the best rogue spells out there. Two backstab for deadly poison and two eviscerate. I got an assassin's blade and an assassinate. Auto barber is nice. The new bar ambushers aren't bad. I have a strong set of early game cards and enough late game or good late game too. Uh, Three spot, I got the Crusader and the Imp Master. Four spots, I did pick up a few. Wait, so what's the bad news? There are no bad news. I guess 12 wins. For Doomhammer. Watch your back. Is this bad news? I suppose when I was going to say like, oh, there's no bad news. I do have a lot of rogue spells. You shall not pass. I wonder if I should have gotten rid of a deadly poison. Drag no stupid. The shield there too. If I roll need, here we go. 
go. Join or die, or both. So I do need to kill this. Uh, the most value play is probably backstab, dagger, or deadly poison. Since I take some damage. I could also backstab, eviscerate, hit, hit, reweapon. That's pretty good. Yeah, alright. Ah! So the board state is, I've got the advantage on the board, and five cards to his four. 5.5 to his four. So my cards are, they're interesting. Summoning portal open. Assassinate that or hit it with my weapon. Ooh, Ogre Ninja. Alright, weapon time. Here we go. I just suddenly had a thought of whether or not this balloon is reconstructed. This ninja. Maybe it does. Random musing. Here we go. And I will fearlessly place an assassin's blade out on the table. Gotta have the mana to do the other stuff. The opponent is at 16, 11, so I just need to hit him with a combo of two of these things. One mm. of these has to survive. VGH, my goodness. What to do? Oh, is that a mistake? Attack first. Mistake. To him, this is actually not a guaranteed win since I only have 10 shows. You asked for it. Watch your back. Blade 3 would have been good for this deck. Yes, it certainly would have. 
<laughs> Went through all four deadly poisons last game. It's a lot of poison. Mmm, chow. Could uh, kill it immediately, but there's no reason to rush. You can always just backstab hit next turn. But in what world do I not backstab? In the world where I draw deadly poison. It's uh, not too far off a world. 4 out of 24. Hello. 1 out of 6. Take the 1 out of 6 for time for a little blood. Oh, it also enables Eviscerate. Which, uh, in this case, I would love to. Or I could simply Scarlet Crusader backstab. Uh, this is fine. It deals with that what card. Crusade! Here we go. In the case that I somehow lose my Scarlet, I've got who is in this. May my ancestors watch over me. Hmm. Join or die. Good to mix and match, I guess. Well, the Echoing Ooze Sea Giant is actually a thing. Not intentional synergy, but synergy nonetheless. Drink with me, friend. The so dream is to get something that costs two. That is not the dream. Here we go. Do I want to play the SI7 agent anyways? I think I might want to. Here we go. I was thinking of um, trying to not play stuff so I could play Sea Giant. Or not kill, not trade. That's probably bad. Hey, lights out. The gates are open. Oh, uh, probably deserves an assassin. Hey, lights out. Pretty good uh, flame strike for him, but it's reasonable for me to play this in the flame strike since it's not that much stuff. Could be flame. Yep. Oh, pal. Here we go. Okay. Into the late game we go. Post flame strike world. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> Dark in. Here we go. I've got a huge gun. Wow. All right. So in his hand is a mad bomber and a storm pike. Interesting. Here we go. Certainly outgunning him right now. Oh, not anymore. You know exactly what his hand is, and his hand is better than mine is, since I have no cards. Here we go. Although the two cards I have deal with the two cards I have. Must cleanse the sun well. Right, Stormpike Commando. So we're basically top decking each other here. Oof. 
Here we go. I guess to start off with, um, I'm gonna be at five if I deal with the storm pike with the poison. Oh, he's saving it for the battle cry. Or is he? Nope. I've got a heat! That's correct. Well played. There we go, health. Well played. The flame strikes got me. The light shall bring victory. Watch your back. Hmm, interesting. I'll let him make the first move so I can decide whether or not playing Crocolisk is a good move. Eh, it's not really how it works. It. Hello, hello, hello. I guess I just think the coin can be more valuable. Point out a blood cell raider if I want to. 3-3. Three, three. It does get bigger later. Uh, next turn I want to Quinn Bomber though. Yeah. Hmm. Alright, Bomber, get to work. That is unfortunate. They are bent to my command. Okay. Well, this is going to be pretty painful of a game then. Here we go. Took an extra eight damage. Not really just that. It's quite a bit worse than that. Well, Stupid bomber. Let the hunt begin. Watch your back. With uh, that many deadly poison in the deck, almost tempted to toss it. No, it's good still. I am ready. Get behind me. Ha, this guy's toast. Here we go. 
dagger probably ends up being pointless, but I'll play it anyways. Since uh, the deadly poisons, of course, want to go in the assassin's blade. bad against that. Um, I should probably have deadly poisoned. Do I pass? No, that's madness. Oh, no. The are I play, I'll play straight into him. Whatever. got an invisible protection on this imp master right now. <laughs> it's time for a little blow. And I will be able to use it. <laughs> this is a tough decision. I can actually choose to backstab. But I will not? Yeah, because in the case where he attacks my imp master and fire blasts my imp master, I can dagger it. In the case where he fire blasts his guy and then attacks the new bar ambusher, then that's okay. Yeah. So the thought is just whether or not to attack the imp master first. In the case where I do two damage to the Amani Berserker, it would be really nice if Hintmaster Master survives. I'm just gonna not attack yet. Did someone say bomb? Good news is I'll have a uh, matter of on an empty board. Empty board my side, hard on his side. Maybe worth backstabbing first. On average, I only deal two damage to this, so worth a backstab. Most cards would have been right. 
given what I had left. Wanna blow something up? <laughs> For the Lich King! Force tank max, I think, because next turn I should be able to play both of these. Here we go. I can play both of them as long as there is one minion on the board. Okay, the sick thing is Flame Strike would kill all my guys if he attacked that into the Sea Giant. Kidnapper's pretty good here. But then Flame Strike also kills off all my guys. It's not obvious which one's better here. The pro of the Sea Giant is it kills the. Uh, that one. But it would kill it in the next go around, anyways. And then it would survive the next time around. So Flame Strike, Fire Blast. I play Sea Giant. Right, it's also one turn early. Yeah. Of course it's worth. Whether or not to attack. Yes. In the case of Flame Strike, I attack again, he's at 9, I play the Sea Giant, and then I make the dagger, and then that's 9 damage. It's pretty exact. Did someone say bomb? Mary Bomber is a failure. We have many secrets. Come here. Come here, you. Dyland lover. Mm hmm. That is a two, three, four, five. If I can't weapon as a two. Which for a rogue, good enough. Close enough. Okay. card is actually not terrible in this situation, uh, in that it kills the Scarlet Crusader and survives, which is better than what most uh, three drops would do. It's a card I haven't seen for a very long time, Stone Sin Gargoyle. But I guess you see it when it comes through the portal. From the realm of bad cards. Time runs out on me. Enemy down. Join or die. Slight disadvantage. Join or die. Okay, he'll catch up. He'll catch back up because of Flame Strike anyway. It's sad because it's true. Hmm. 
Here we go. It was all part of his clever ploy. Wouldn't it be sick if I lost? That'd be pretty sick. Here we go. He's gonna hold on to the weapon in case of another flame strike. Might actually need this to clear some things. Pretty good comeback with the flame strike top deck. For not a time. Wasn't the beater. I think that is the first time I've ever seen this opening. The coin flame tongue totem opening. What in the world? <laughs> we use our flame tongue totem to fight in this game. Alright. Move Lax Valley. Uh, I think I have to skip the weapon. No, no, that's dumb. Yeah, it's not that dumb. So it was between Auto Barber and Viscerate and uh, Here we go. not clearing the totem again. And I'll choose to not clear the totem. I did consider just weaponing up and then sending the 3-3 in, attacking it with my normal weapon. But good time to develop this. Seven pass. Did I miss lethal? I was actually one damage off lethal. I thought I was nowhere close. Yeah, hello.
Still lack lethal, right? Four, nine, thirteen. Kind of tempting to coin out a weapon. Means I crush any two drops. I crush uh, the majority of two drops. It's not obvious whether this is Barber or Blood Cell Raider either. Reporting for duty. But Guy might have been a really good move by him if he has a 3 2 in his hand. Save my three Not my favorite move, but... He didn't want a true silver into my... Scarlet either, I imagine. Throw him a bone. Only because I have no other... Meats! hand is annoying. My hand is too good, one, one, one. The gate sorrow. Oh my gosh, he gave me the he gave me not the perfect answer, but an appropriately good answer. <sighs> Cool again. Mm. Special delivery. <laughs> I'm shocked you didn't play that against uh, the Pen Creeper. For the crusade. Would that not have been better? It was in his hand. Good at this rating, but I could not afford this poor rogue deck. It suffers the same fate as my priest deck yesterday. Well played. It's too sad. Well played. Expectations. 